Now, only on five, our country is in the midst of a mental health crisis that impacts all of us. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of mentally ill people in our prison system, many of our country's homeless, and horrifying mass shootings that have been linked to mental illness. Clearly, this problem requires our attention. The National Alliance on Mental Illness says 20% of teens ages 13 to 18 experience a severe mental disorder in a given year. About 1 in 17 adults lives with serious mental illness, like schizophrenia, major depression, or bipolar disorder. 60% of those adults and almost one half of youngsters receive no mental health services. For families living with mental illness, the challenges can be overwhelming. Recently, a mother who lives in Minerva invited me to spend some time with her family to see what they and so many others like them are facing. Her expression may not reflect it. She doesn't smile much. But Morgan Frank loves this horse. Is she your best bud? Yep. Her friendship with the horse she calls Boo Kisses has been a profound turning point for this 10 year old girl helping to pull her into the light from unfathomable darkness. At first, you didn't want to, we didn't want to tell anybody. Our family didn't even know. Danielle Frank knew long ago that something wasn't right with her second daughter. She was always looking off in the distance. Something always had her attention that wasn't there. As Morgan grew, there were terrifying outbursts and breaks from reality. She once went after the family dogs with a knife and then her older sister. She did everything she could to push Madison out the living room window, and it wasn't her. Morgan's very sweet, very shy, very calm. This was a kid saying things that Morgan would have never said. That was two years ago. Morgan was admitted to Altman Children's Psychiatric Facility, which is the hardest thing you'll ever do for your child. It's next to leaving your kid in jail. And diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. But the sad truth is, they were lucky to find a bed, according to Dr. Ewald Horvath at Metro Health. Sometimes there's no place for the patient to go. Sometimes they have to wait for days. Today is a great example here in Cleveland. There's no beds available. Dr. Horvath also notes people's reluctance to identify themselves or a family member as mentally ill. The stigma of mental illness keeps many people in the shadows, and widespread speculation about it in the aftermath of mass shootings heightens public and private fears. After the theater shooting in Aurora, Colorado, Morgan said, am I going to do that? Is that going to happen to me? It creates the impression that mental illness is equivalent with violent behavior, which is not the case. There's a very small percentage of people with mental illness that ever engage in any kind of violence. Inconsistent health care coverage and crushing costs for Morgan's medications, nearly 50 a day at one point, have now bankrupted the family. They've lost a house, cars, their life savings. I've sold wedding rings, um, purses, suits, clothes, a furniture set, stoves. You name it, we've sold it. He sold his truck. The family has faced every tough challenge with determination and hope that their story will have an impact. I'm not smart enough to make a cure, but I'm loud. And I, I want their lives to be everything that they want them to be. While the family works to find solutions for Morgan, others, like Rolling Thunder Stables in Minerva, where the girls can ride, have donated therapeutic services. The Franks also have a growing online community at teammorganohio.com.